mind. We're not pros at this. <laughs> Start cutting a whole bunch of logs for the smokehouse. Hi, Kim. How's it going? Good. We've got the chainsaw, shafts, oil, gas, and a helmet, and an axe. The trailer to put the logs on, and we are ready to go. You don't need to do me. My goodness, look at that hay. Look at her. That is so tall. We are done now. Now you get to see our big pile of logs that we worked so hard to get. <laughs> There's got to be probably 1,500 pounds there, you think you? I wouldn't even want to get them. They are so heavy. Probably 200 plus pounds per larger log. Just barely past five. So anyways, see you later, Goo. Bye. Let's do this. Let's say I'm gonna make the handle 13 inches long. 13 inches long per handle. And then I'm going to go about a foot and a half for the blade for big logs. And then another 13 inches. Let's cut it.
Okay, now that we got it shot up, mark the 13 inches. We are going to bend it now. I'm gonna put this on. And we got the oxycetylene torch. So, I'm gonna turn this baby on. Okay, here we go. You want that cool? So there's our first one. Now we're gonna make, do the same on this side. 13 inches, remember? Now that we got that, we're gonna bend both of these up. And we can put this into fast motion, if you don't mind. There we are. It's all bent. Next is to sharpen it. We're gonna take this caliper and we're going to make the bevel or the plunge line or whatever you want to call it. We go right about there. And just make a line, a little marker here. Doesn't seem to be working right, go. Oh, don't bother. Oh. I'm trying to get this to work. Oh well, anyways. We'll just make a really visible line as best we can. I'm probably gonna go run and get a marker so that we c I can see what I'm doing. And then when we're done doing this part, then we'll do this section. Just like so. Next, you're gonna have to take a marker. Do not forget to mark where your plunge line is gonna be. I'm gonna have my plunge line right about here, and that's where I'm gonna stop grinding, so it looks neat. And I'm gonna not go over that as best as I can. Without further ado, let's get at her. I'm gonna put earmuffs on and glasses and rubs and let's go. Right up. Here we are. That's about what I've done. You see, it's... Now I have to heat treat it and put the handles on. There, log done. First log. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> look at all that water in there. <laughs> Now I'm gonna try this one. See how much easier it is. That thing is like a breeze. Here. How did you guys load these things? You know what? Oh wow, this is nice.
That is how long it took. 4 yeah. minutes and 41 seconds, it .58. It was a very, very naughty log. But anyhow, that was our last one and it went pretty fast for how naughty it was. Good job, Gu. Thanks, you All did. the scraping. And Simon for videoing and doing a little bit of scraping before. Thanks a lot. Yeah. That's all of our shavings and our scrape logs. Brooklyn found a wax wing by Wingman. Look Not at its little. eyes. It looks like Nefertiri. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. He was so Miss Waxwing. Ooh, he's gonna go into the garden. So this is what we have done so far. We just dug the holes. The logs are 60 inches, five feet. So we are doing 60 inches on each side. We're making a perfect square. And then we're gonna put some pails of gravel in it. Jump, buddy. Squirrel. So that is our smokehouse base. We dug four trenches, then filled them halfway up with gravel. Then we put two boards on and oiled both sides. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him to all that call upon him in truth. He will fulfill the desire of them that fear him. He also will hear their cry and will save them. The Lord preserveth all them that love him, but all the wicked will he destroy. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord and let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. Psalms 145 verses 17 to 21. 